Hi everyone. In this part, I will mention about limits at infinity. If the values of x increase without bound, then we write x tends to plus infinity. If the values of x decrease without bound, then we write x tends to minus infinity. For instance, very basic example, when x tends to plus infinity, 1 over x, the graph of 1 over x, or when x tends to minus infinity again, the graph of 1 over x is equal to 0. You may remember the graph of 1 over x is something like this. Okay. When you approach, when x tends to infinity, plus infinity, the function the, the function approaches to the point zero. Okay. And when you when you goes to minus infinity, the function again approaches to the point zero. Okay. Let's have more complicated questions. I will solve several questions about limits at infinity. The first example, limit of 8 minus 4x square over 9x square plus 5x, when x tends to infinity, plus infinity. Okay, I will not use L'Hopital's rule for this kind of questions. If you take the parentheses of x square, here you have 8 over x square minus 4. I also take the parentheses of x square in the denominator, so I have 9 plus 5 over x. So, if you cancel these two parts, you have limit when x tends to infinity. Okay, so we also can say that this term goes to zero since the denominator goes to infinity. This term goes to zero since again the denominator goes to infinity. So we finally have minus four. I should clear the limit expression. Minus four divided by nine. Okay. <coughs> 